If you're a wine lover, and especially a champagne lover, you might like the champagne known as Charles Heidsick. They make a lot of different styles of champagne and they're all very beloved and widely distributed throughout America. So even if you're a fan of the wine Charles Heidsick, you might not know the story of the person Charles Heidsick. He was quite a character. And he actually started a very famous and popular champagne company in the 1800s. He was also kind of a traveler and he traveled to America in around the 1860s and he thought, oh my goodness, what a fabulous market for champagne. So he immediately contacted and hired an American agent to sell his wine in America, especially up and down the East Coast in New York and Virginia. It was an immediate hit and, and, and Charles Heidsick traveled back to America many, many times. One time he was even given a ticker tape parade as he arrived in the New York Harbor and he was dubbed Champagne Charlie. He became the toast of New York society and everybody loved him. So he was making a lot of money and having a very good time being the debonair Champagne Charlie. Well this went on for several years and then in the late 1870s Charlie heard news that there might be a war breaking out in the United States and of course this was our Civil War. So he decided he better go back to America and get his money and he tried to. He went back to New York, he met his import agent and he said I need my money and the import agent told him a very famous lie and said, oh Charlie, Congress has passed a new law and the North owes no debts to, south, to the South and so therefore I don't owe you a debt so I don't have to pay you your money. Champagne Charlie thought, uh-oh, and decided to go straight to the people that had bought his wine. So he started to travel to try to collect his debts. He went to New Orleans and his agent there said, nobody has any money in the South. So why don't you take a shipment of cotton and try to ship it back to Europe? So he did. He got two ships, got the cotton, tried to do a blockade run, but of course was caught. So much for that. So eventually, Champagne Charlie went back to France. He was broke. He was miserable. His wife had sold off his property, and his winery and his vineyards were in foreclosure. Depressed and broken, he wandered around with his head down for many, many years. Then one day he got a telegram, and this telegram was from the brother of his agent in New York, you know, the brother that had cheated him. And the brother said he was very sorry for the cruel way his brother had treated him, and in his will he had left him one square mile of a town out in the American frontier. Well, it turns out that this town in the American frontier was Denver, Colorado. So Champagne Charlie went back to, the, went back to America sold his deeds for all the property in Denver, Colorado, triumphantly traveled back to France, and became the debonair Champagne Charlie once again.